Yo, what's going on guys, the undefined variable for episode 5 of the Spigot Slash Pocket Coding Tutorial. So this looks a little different from clips, you might be like, oh my god, what is this? It's not clips, I have no clue what to do. Don't worry, this is just a different coding um, environment that I use, a different IDE. Uh, if you want to know, it's IntelliJ. Um, download will be in the description, it's kind of hard at first, but you'll figure your way around. This episode we're going to focus on signs, meaning player right clicks a sign something happens or only if they have certain permission so let's get right to it uh, we're just gonna have our main class w which extends java plugin okay so we're gonna have our main uh, class java plugin we're gonna do our on enables and on disable okay so now that we have these made I'm gonna make a new class called sign listener and this is going to ex uh, this is going to implement listener. Okay, so we're going to do at uh, no, we're going to do at event handler public void. What is it? Uh, okay, so we're going to do a player interact event. I'm going to call it event. Alright, so let's get some things first. I'm going to do player player equals event.get player. There we go. I uh, will import player. Next, we're going to do um, sign. Okay, now we're going to do if event that get clicked block instance of sign so if the clicked block is a sign next we're gonna do the following if uh, we're gonna do sign sign equals event dot get clicked block Uh, let's try that. There we go. So we're gonna do if sign that get line. I believe it starts from line zero. Actually, let me check up. So yes, it starts with line zero. So if sign dot get line zero equals equals, we'll do. Actually, no, we'll do if. So if the first line on the sign equals with an ignore case, meaning it could be in any case, bracket, heal, bracket, and then we'll do if sign.getLine, we'll do, so if the third line dot um, equals ignore case free so basically we're defining some parameters so if it's it, if it says free player dot heal uh, player dot set health player dot get max health so we're going to heal the player fully, and then we're going to send them a message. We'll do player dot send message. Player dot send message. Oh, whoops. Okay, right. player dot send message. Chat color dot translate alternate color codes. We'll do and comma. How about we do and a and L exclamation point and a you have successfully is that not how you spell successful there you go been healed all right so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna do else if line 3 is equal to permission 
we'll do uh, copy that we'll do if player dot has permission quote I'll do sign dot heal so if they have the permission sign dot heal which if you don't know what permissions are permissions basically allow certain players if they have a certain string permission node attached to their player there are a bunch of plugins that manage it I use PEX uh, which is permissions X it's a very good plugin basically it manages a string is attached to a player and getting their permissions meaning has permission checks to see if their string is attached if that makes sense so if they have permission signed out heal heal them else we're not going to heal them, and we're going to have a red message saying you, you do not have permission to use this sign. Okay, so if it's free, anybody's able to use it. If it's permission, only, they will, only people with the permissions can use it. I think we'll leave it at that. Um, let's see, what else can we do? So now we're going to do um, another, we're going to do a whole nother event. And we're basically going to handle when the person makes the sign. Okay, so we're going to do another event handler public void create sign uh well i think it's a sign change yep sign change event event so uh player player equals event dot get player so uh we'll do also over here we'll do or player dot is op because on my test server I don't know if I'm gonna actually do permissions so I'll just set that up just in case next um, we'll do if event dot is it get sign Hold on. oh wait event dot get line zero dot equals ignore case heal uh, we'll check if player dot is op or player dot has permission I'll just make a permission sign dot create Then we'll do, we'll send them a message. How about we, we'll send them a message in blue. So I'll do aqua bold. Aqua, you have successfully created a healing sign. Alright. Um, so we'll do if, okay, and we'll do if event dot get line two dot is empty, and we're gonna put an exclamation point before this, meaning if line two, aka the third line, is not empty, then we'll allow it. I'll add an else statement. So if the third line is empty, we'll do event dot, dot set canceled true, and we'll send them a message in red, which will say you must. Uh, we'll do you must. Define what type of heal sign this is. You know, we don't need to make it so user friendly because we're the only ones using it. 
so let's see that I forget anything. Oh, yes. So if they're not an op and they don't have the permission to do it, we want to cancel the event. Event that's set canceled. True. And I'll just grab an error message here. And I will say, and see, you do not have permission to create a healing sign. All right, so that seems to be in order. Next, in the main.java, we're going to do um, get server. Dot get plugin manager. We're going to just register the event. Dot register event. Register event. Uh, register events, maybe. Um, new sign listener. This. Uh, yep, there you go. Register events. New sign listener. This. That seems that seems to be good. Uh, you know, there are no commands for this plugin. That's not needed. Now I'm just going to make the plugin YML, and I'll create it again just so you guys can see. The name of the plugin will be Sign Test. The main will be me. Darth Teddy One. YouTube. Main. So it's the name of the package here, me.dr31.youtube, and the name of the class. And then author the undefined variable. And I think that's it. You, uh, you know what? You might need a version to export it. Some of them require. Okay. This is. Oh, no, no, no. Let's undo that. There we go. That's good. Everything's saved. Now, if you are using IntelliJ IDEA, here's how you export your plugin. So, you do open module settings, and I already imported the spygod.jar. Um, you go to artifacts, plus, jar, from modules with dependencies, press OK. Now, press delete on extracted spygod.jar, plus, file, it'll take you to where your thing is, press plugin YML, OK. Now, you just press build, build artifacts. So, I'm going to meet you guys on the server. Alright guys, so, I was just re-looking over the code. Actually, I'm still in game uh, on my server because I was getting ready to record the next part. Let me log out. There we go. So, as I was beginning to record the next part, I realized that this code will not work. So, if we open over here, and we walk over to this, this part. Oh, that was a less than perfect copy and paste. Okay, don't worry, I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. So, basically, um, instead of event.getClicked block, we're getting the block state. We're doing sign s equals sign.getBlockState. And then a sign named sign is the state of the block state. This one might not be needed. Is the get block the get block state? You know what? That might not be needed. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to export the jar, and now we'll see if this is going to work in game. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? So I am actually recording this part again and you know I'm not I'm not trying to fake that I have not recorded this part before I have recorded this part before it's that there was if you notice during my pixelmon video and the coding part of this video there were a black bar on bottom and in the coding part of this video black bar on top I fixed that there should be no more black bar so I figured I would just redo this for you guys so right now I am opt so I'll be able to make a heal sign if I try to you know, not put anything on the third line. It won't let me, obviously, because that's what we set. And if I do a heal, um, we'll do heal permission. 
Okay, now I'm going to de-op myself. And since I'm not opt and I don't have the permission, it'll say you do not have permission to use this sign. That is just what we want, that's perfect. Now if I re-op myself and I do heal free, it does not need to be in caps, I just prefer it in caps, and now I de-op myself, it'll let me because it's a free heal sign, and the permission sign won't let me. Now I'm not opt right now, and if I try to make a heal sign, it won't let me. You do not have permission to create a healing side. This is perfect. I mean, you can do a lot of things with this. You can get, you know, you can have like buy signs where it helps you with economy. You can use these to join games. You can actually update the signs through code, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and it's actually really simple. I can go over other sign basics uh, if, if you guys would like uh, in a future episode. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode of Spigot slash Bucket Coding Tutorial. Leave a like if you're hyped for a continuation of this series. Uh, if there's anything specific you want me to cover in the next episode, please let me know in the comments below. And I can't wait to keep cranking these videos out. See you in the next one.